Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about HTTP GET method. The GET method is used for sending the GET request. And the GET request is used for requesting the data from the server. GET method is a read operation which is performed on a specified resource on the server. When you are sending the GET request, you don't need to specify the request body. So let me give you an example of the GET request. Again, I am going to take the help of YouTube web page. So as you can see here, this is a GET request and this GET request is requesting the image from the YouTube server. And this is the response of that GET request. In our test application, there are certain GET endpoints using which you can get the data from the test application. So let me open the Swagger documentation of our test application. So this is the GET endpoint. Using this, we can get all the data which is present in the application. So let me send a GET request to this endpoint using the Postman. So I will create a new request. The HTTP method is GET. I need to specify the endpoint URL. And as you can see here, I'm not specifying the request body. And when I send this request, I get the response with status code as 200 OK. Now let us see how you can write the same thing using the Karate framework. So as I mentioned earlier, in Karate Framework, we have a feature file and we have a runner. The runner will take care of running the feature file. So let me create the copy of this feature file. And let me just call it as getRequest.feature. So in this feature file, I'm going to add a scenario. And let me add a small description to this scenario. Now in our case, the prerequisite is we need to have the endpoint URL. So that will go in the form of given statement. So given URL and the endpoint URL. So in this statement, I have used a keyword called URL. This keyword is coming from the Karate framework and this keyword will tell that this is the endpoint URL. Then we need to send the get request. So when keyword method get. In this statement, I have used two more keywords that is method and get. Both of them are coming from the Karate framework. Basically, this statement is telling send the get request. And then keyword status 200. In this statement, I have used one more keyword that is status. Again, this keyword is coming from the Karate framework. And this statement is telling that the status code of response should be 200. So as you can see here, we have to combine the Gherkin keyword along with the keyword which is coming from the Karate framework to write the automation script.